Years ago, when I came in here, I had to do something to protect this land. I don't know how the people who lived here didn't see it coming. I was gone for 29 years, and when I got back here, I seen things taking place, the widening of the roads and building over nine different bridges, you know, uh, for the lack of people. That we've lost over 100,000 people from this hollow. So I knew you know, that something was taking place, so I, I turned this land into a land trust after I started hearing dynamite and stuff in the distance. And it kept getting closer and closer and closer, and, you know, then I could see the dust and I could hear the sound. I could feel the ground shaking beneath my feet like, like earthquakes in California, for instance. So I had to find a way to lock it up. And I locked them up in a land trust. It's locked up forever. You know, right now, I'm 65 years old. Life bending by fast, you know. Uh, one day I went to bed as a young man, and when, when I got up, I was an old man. That's how fast it went by. As a child living here, all, all the land, we owned the five ridges on top of this mountain. And all the land on these five ridges was planted in some kind of vegetation. As a child, you know, when we got up at 6.30, 5.30, 6.30 in the morning to go get the cows or uh, go work the bees, to get them ready before the sun breaks or a uh, hold of corn, we used to try to do all that before it got real hot. Um, there was always something to do. In other words, you had to work every day in the summer to have a day in the winter. When did this mining begin here, this strip mining? It would be six years in April. Now we got eight people working here. We're in between shifts. The next shift don't start until six or five, depends on how many areas we're working. Um, you see how far out there, that there's over about a mile from here to that seam of coal. Uh, you can see it looks pretty, you look real close at that wall though. There's other seams of coal in there. Beneath know? it. And uh, this mountain you're standing on has 39 seams of coal. Estimated by the, by the industry to be worth six and a half, 650 million dollars. People tell me I should have took the money and ran. Well, I got this thing in my head that if you sell your roots, your heritage, your culture, where you come from, then what do you have left? Just the thoughts in your head. You can't walk on the thoughts in your head. Now, I can come up here on my 50 acres. Right now, we're standing on the company's land, so they say. But as a boy, this land was ours.